Welcome to Around BI. In this tutorial, we will understand what is dimension and fact and what differentiates any data into these two categories. Dimension and fact are basic building blocks in data warehouse. They are focus of dimensional modeling. Everything revolves around them in data warehouse. Honestly, for warehouse developers, this is the primary challenge to find out that from available data set which entities are dimension and which would be considered as fact. Let's start with an example. I am running a retail store and I have some data related to that. For any retail sales, we gather date, when the sale happens, store, where the sale happens, product, what is sold, quantity, unit price and sales amount of sold products and a transaction number or invoice number of sales. I am going to create a data warehouse and very first step for that is to examine data, analyze data so that I can categorize dimension and facts. If I look closely, I can see some data as text values and some are numeric values. I can pull date, store name and product in text group and quantity, unit price, sales amount and transaction number will fall into numeric group. If I pick values for quantity sold, these numbers 10, 20 or 30 themselves are meaningless. They are not providing any information. We need some descriptive levels that show relation with these numbers or at least inform about context in which these numbers are showing. To establish that context, if I pick a store name, then value of quantity will tell that this is the number of products sold by that store. What I want to convey here is that every business process contains two types of data. One that provides quantitative information about business process and other that describes these quantitative numbers. Data that is level based and descriptive and that explains business numbers are typically termed as dimensions and entities that are numeric in nature are mostly facts. In majority, this definition is true, but there may be cases when we are defining number values as dimension. We will talk on those exception cases later. Let's go in more details now. We will talk about facts first. So fact in data warehouse provides quantitative information about business process. That's why they are also called as measurements or metrics, quantity sold, sales amount, total earning, profit, margin, total turnover. These are some common examples of facts. To identify a fact in a business process, we need to ask few basic questions that will help us to pick facts. Like from our retail process, if I ask what is total number of product A that is sold or what is sales amount of product B. Clearly, quantity and sales amount are primary target of computation and are good candidates for facts. They are providing metrics for retail business. For example, quantity sold by month or sales amount by product by date. So fact is measurement of business and is mostly a numeric quantity. But being just the numbers, it is not providing any information. We cannot generate any context or meaning with these metrics unless there is something that will describe these numbers, something that will provide perspective to view these numbers and dimension is that entity. It is an object that describes facts or business numbers. Through dimension, we analyze numbers and categorize facts and measures and that facilitates end user to answer business questions. Without the dimensions, we cannot measure the facts. Some common examples of dimensions are from people, maybe customers, vendors or in healthcare patients, providers or physicians, products or product group, place that is geographical dimensions like country, region, market, state or city or time dimension like year, quarter, month or date. So with these dimensions, we provide a medium for business users to do data analysis from various viewpoints. Users can do slicing and dicing on data to get business information like sales by customer or sales by customer in year 2017 or sales by customer in 2017 by a particular product group. So basically dimensions prepare us for doing filtering, grouping and labeling functions. A question comes, how can we recognize dimension? So dimensions are generally level based and descriptive entities. Wikipedia has a good trick to ask questions on context of the business like analyze by what, analyze by time or analyze by product or analyze by geography. This analyze by what gives a hint on possible dimension fields. We will talk more on dimension hierarchy and questions on why we term invoice number or order number as dimension though it is a number, uh, those things in later tutorials. This is a good start of our journey of learning data warehouse concepts. In next tutorial, we will learn different types of dimensions and facts with some real world example. Please share your feedback and comments with us. Thanks for watching.